All right, class, today we are going to talk about uh, part two of project three in the uh, Concert Tour Desktop Publisher simulation. Um, we, we have already done the band logo research. We turned in our band planning form, got your band name approved, and uh, we started designing the logo. So after you do the logo, um, you're going to design a business card, letterhead, and envelope. So we're going to talk about the bi design a business card real quick. Um, let me show you. As you begin the task of publicizing your band and looking for places to play, you will be talking to club owners, agents, recording industry, executives, radio personalities, and prospective fans. You will need something to give these people so that they will remember you, your band, and your contra contact information. In this project, you will use your desktop publishing skills to design a professional business card that will help project your band's identity and image. Now, not only does this apply to uh, promoting your band, but this goes for any business. Um, even I have my own business card. Um, I, I, I meet, I have contacts from multiple school districts, uh, different businesses that might help out clubs and organizations that I do. It's, it's your calling card um, so people can get a hold of you and um, you, you spread your network. Uh, out. So this applies for any type of business. Now, um, in case you didn't know, a business card is a small printed card usually containing a person's name, business affiliation, job title, address, phone number, fax number, and email website site, site address. The uh, purpose of a business card is to announce one's identity, presence, and intention to conduct business. The business card is perhaps the most widely used mini document in the business world. A business card is a handshake you leave behind after meeting someone in the professional world. So, in case you don't know, job title, like my, mine would be uh, teacher. teacher. Uh, <laughs> when you're talking about bands, you would put like your name. And your job title might be vocalist or drums or guitar, lead guitar. So that's that's what a uh, job title is. And like I said on the uh, band planning form, uh, phone numbers you can make up. And fax numbers are just normal phone numbers that happen to have a fax machine attached to it. So that's what fax numbers are. And you can come up with the email address that matches your band name and website. Um, so be sure you read the strategies and tips. Keep in mind that business cards are a lot of information in a small space. So use, utilize that space to highlight the most important information, such as the band logo, your name, contact information. Now, my recommendation is don't make the background too loud to where the text blends in and you can't see it. Um, if it gets to where the text kind of blends in, you might add a stroke around the letters to make it pop out. But don't don't make your business card too busy, um, for one thing. Keep, try to keep it simple with, um, uh, like, uh, your logo and maybe so, so a few lines or decorations and some white space to kind of um, balance it out. But don't make your business card too loud and too busy. Um, don't put the uh, uh, in, the text information right up against the margins. Use a little bit of margin space, and just spread it out evenly. Um, those are some common mistakes that I uh, see people do. Now, if you want to design a background, like do some art, you can design it in Illustrator or Photoshop, uh, and just make sure you make it the size um, of the card, and then you can put it into uh, InDesign. But you have to turn in the InDesign file. So let's look at the instructions in the book. This is what I'm going to be checking and grading. Um, you're going to ignore the save the document as uh, part um, in the book. You're going to name it, uh, like if you're 1B, you're going to be 1B underscore your last name, first initial, underscore then business card, dot 
InDesign file extension. And you'll save it in your six, six weeks folder. Now, uh, be sure, as always, in the book, always look at this uh, gray area right here. It says, include the following in your business card. Your band's logo, your band's slogan or tagline. Does anybody not know what a slogan or tagline is? Yeah, like State Forum is there. So try to come up with a cool tagline or slogan for your band. Your name and title. So your name, lead guitar, or vocalist. Uh, the names of additional band members. That's optional. Does everybody know what optional means? You don't have to, but you can. Uh, contact information, including... Your band's address, city, state, zip code, phone number, fax number, email address, and website address. Does that mean you get to pick and choose what you leave out? No. 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 So if you, I'm going to be looking to make sure you included all that because the directions clearly state that it's supposed to be in there. So don't leave that out. Um, also include additional graphic images or, or a border. Um, that's optional if room permits. So just kind of... Use your own judgment of uh, what's good design, stuff that you, I've taught you throughout this year. And now format the size and placement of the text so that everything's in proportion. Proofread, make sure nothing's misspelled. Uh, you don't have to print a copy. Now, also, one of the other things I'm going to be grading is uh, this page right here, page 37. This is your InDesign page setup information. So when you start a new document, you want to make sure that your units and increments are set up in inches. Um, and then when you create your new document, it's just going to be a normal uh, page size portrait. Uh, you're going to set your margins to be one inch on all sides. Um, orientation portrait, uh, ignore the type of paper, we're not printing it. Um, it says using the rectangular tool and your desktop publishing software, which will be in design, you're going to draw a rectangle that measures three and a half inches by two inches high. The <coughs> rectangle represents a business card on your page. So place the contents inside of this rectangle right here in InDesign. So, so that's that's what you're going. It's, so it's going to be a big document with one business card right there. Does everybody understand that? Yes, sir. All right. So that's your page setup information. Um, let me show you an example. Now this is an example of Stonehenge's business card right here. Uh, you got their logo, name, title, um, tagline, and then contact information. And then they kind of added that little bar right there to um, kind of shows a little bit of design so it's not just a plain white card with the logo. Um, but it's simple, it's clear, good use of white space, the text, you can read it. Um, that's, that's a good uh, business card. Um, before, before we uh, uh, quit, I, I want to show you how, how to set up a document real quick uh, according to these uh, directions. So it says eight and a half by 11 inches. So you open up InDesign and you're going to go InDesign, Preferences, Units and Increments. You're going to change it to inches. So ruler units, inches. Click OK. Now when you go File, New, Document, it's eight and a half inches by 11. And it says uh, one inch margins on all sides. So one inch. Now, if sometimes it says top, bottom, inside, out, inside is left, outside's right, you might, you see this little link right here? You have to unclick it, and then you can individualize the uh, margin sizes. But if you want them all at the same time, re-click it. Now columns, if it requires you to have two th or three or four columns, this is what you would choose. The gutter 
is the space between the columns, and that's what you adjust. This allows you to change the orientation to portrait or landscape. So always look at the directions, orientation, margins, size of page. Also, other options might have some things, but usually that's uh, the content inside the document. So once you get everything according to the directions, you just click, click OK, and there you go. That's the page. And then you would just get your rectangle tool and draw your rectangle. And then you can readjust it to 2.5. Oh, wait. It's 3 by 2.5. Let's see. Uh, oh, 3.5 by 2. So 3.5 by 2 inches. There you go. That's your business card. What you might do is uh, click on stroke, add a stroke weight so you can clearly see the outline of the card. And then that's what you put everything inside of, including your logo and all that. Um, you, you could. Uh, if you want your logo to be a certain spot, you can create your frame box and then go File, Place, and, and place your logo image right there. So everything's going to need to be there. If you need to zoom in, you just zoom in um, as much as needed. Does anybody have any questions about setting up your business card? Okay. so. Um, refer to this video, refer to the book if you have any questions or need help.